touch something. Wow, who would have thunk? A bit of a nail in the tire, but a bullet case? I better clean it up. I started my timer, guys. Here we go. Oh, having trouble getting going. Now I'm going. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Two identical Jeep Gladiators. Okay, they're not identical. They're, in fact, as different as you can get in the Gladiator family because to my right is a classic Rubicon Gladiator, but to my left is the brand spanking new Mojave. And you may be thinking to yourself, what's the difference? Well, that one is a rock crawler and that one is the Desert Runner, at least according to Jeep. And in this video, we're gonna put them through a series of three tests to see if that is indeed true. So Andre, why don't you tell them the difference between the two trucks? You guys are familiar with the Rubicon. It has two solid axles, two lockers, one in the front, one in the rear, disconnectable front sway bar, and a four to one low range transfer case uh, it's meant for rock crawling. In the Mojave truck, you still have two solid axles, front and rear. But in the front, this is where the differences begin because in the front, there's no more locker available here, no more disconnectable sway bar, still a 410 gear ratio, but the transfer case is now more of a high speed one, 2.72 to one. Oh yeah, check it out guys. The best top in the biz just got a whole lot better. The Super Top Ultra features some of the most advanced tech. Let me show you. It only takes a few seconds to flip this Sunrider all the way back and get an incredible panoramic view. And here's the brilliant part. All you have to do is slide these windows out and check this out. What more can I say? It can't be any easier than that. That entire process took minutes, but if you're like me and you love that fast back look, you know, kind of nice and sexy back here, the Trek Top Ultra is the one for you. Check it out. In order to find out what's what, we're gonna do three tests. First, it's gonna be a rock crawl test on the Razor Rocks right here at Ironclads. The second test will be the slowest drag race because I really want to test the crawl ratio on both of these trucks and of course finally high-speed running off-road because that's what Mojave is supposed to be great at let's do it all right so I am in the Gobi Rubicon Gobi is the color of this thing like the Gobi Desert and I'm gonna put a neutral I'm gonna lock the front and rear locker and I'm gonna hit the sway bar disconnect Come on, there you go, sway bar disconnected. Front and rear locker engaged. I've got it as off-road worthy as possible. We're gonna take on the Razor Rocks. Before we even get to the Razor Rocks, there are these steps and it tests really the approach angle on these trucks, but the approach angle is great on both of them, about 44 degrees. Let's see it. This is a really good test between the difference that a front locker and sway bar makes versus one without it so so far this uh, truck is having no issues whatsoever it's just crawling up this icy slope here in the colorado mountains and then because i've got skid plates everywhere including in the back behind the rear wheels basically ahead of the bumper but behind the rear wheels that the mojave doesn't have I feel confident in taking the most difficult line possible, which is right up and over the Razor Rocks. So if I hit, no biggie because, well, we've got all kinds of other body protection. And uh, that made it look easy. We're getting up here to the Razor Rocks. And voila. These are the Razor Rocks and it basically tests approach angle articulation which the Rubicon should do better at I think and of course that breakover angle in the middle let's see how it does all right here we go razor rocks and we're not be being shy this time we're gonna go right up the hardest part because this truck can do it usually there's a tree over here that we can hit that I'd be afraid of but I'm not even gonna be near that tree because I'm going right over the top of the razor rocks slowly but surely at some point I may hit here, like that. Oh! Check it out! Check it out, the front wheel is in the air. 
You're almost there, Dad. Should I go forward or back up? Try going forward. You're hung up on your uh, <laughs> skid plate. It's a skid plate. All right, try going a little bit to your left. Well, that was uh, a little painful. But let's, let's try going a little Go bit that way. the other way. The breakover angle is a small issue. But no damage done, just a lot of metal on rock. Ooh. There we go. Right over the top. That's how you do it. <laughs> Thank God for those skid plates. <laughs> I was a little worried about that. The length of the truck is a problem because the breakover angle becomes just too um, too extreme and you get high centered. These two trucks have the identical tires, 33 inch tall, wild peak, all terrains. But the shocks is where the difference really is evident because right here on the Mojave, they're two and a half inch diameter body remote reservoir shocks in the front the reservoir is hidden way up here in the front by the skid plate and in the back they're piggyback remote reservoirs and of course on that rubicon the shocks are two inch body and no remote reservoirs there oh yeah there is more the mojave also has a fluid jones bumper right here in the front this is industry first no other truck has this from the factory all right now i'm in the mojave truck and this is not the Mojave, but this is the Rocky Mountains. Nonetheless, I'm ready to tackle this first test, which is the rock crawl, which is not the strong suit of this truck. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into neutral as always, shift to four low, drive. That also disables the traction control system, which is great. I'm also gonna lock my rear locker. That's the only locker I have in this truck. I don't have the front and I cannot disconnect my front sway bar for better articulation but I do have an advantage over the truck that Roman is driving um, Jeep lifted this truck by about an inch in the front giving it a total of 11.6 inches of ground clearance really great approach angle and I need all of it right now approaching these steps where Roman just traveled. So let me see how that works. Remember, I also have a different crawl ratio because the transfer case here is more for high speed. Even though I'm, I'm in four low, my gearing is quite a bit different. Although I have the same tires and of course the same um, axles actually with four 10 to 1 ratio. Roman, I want to make sure I use the same line. Yeah, so I think if you go straight up the way I just did right here, I went a little bit to the right where I got stuck. Okay. So if you just head straight up, that's the same line. Uh, and the question is, does that front locker make that big of a difference? Yes, and also uh, uh, my, my crawl ratio is not as good as yours. Yeah, we'll test that in the next test. Okay. Uh, but let's see how you do right now going up the razor rocks. I found my metal scrapings on the rock <laughs> well actually you touched your skid plate which is good yeah yeah exactly right that's what it's meant for yeah got my money's worth okay all right good luck i like the modulation in this truck actually i don't feel like i'm too low and it's like kind of jerky so this is the line i guess Ooh. okay this is this is hard Ooh. i touched something Ooh. Okay. Forward. 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 I'm uh, I'm sitting on something. Hey, just try it. Hey, you're stuck. Okay, over here. I can't. I can't do it. The problem, RJ, is right here. This front wheel isn't spinning. Try it again, Andre. Try it again. No. What the? What the heck? You got three-wheel drive. No, but this is a Mojave. Yeah, you don't have a front locker. Okay. Try going back a little bit, a little bit of momentum. Just a little bit back and then a little faster. Just Am I damaging bit. anything? No. Go back a little bit. Is this the same line, Dad? Yeah. Ooh. No. <laughs> all right, we'll call it. Just go all the way back. I'll give you a better line. I think we've proven, proven it. Yeah. Should I go left? 
Okay, I'm gonna left. Okay. Uh, forward? Okay. Okay. Jeez. Okay. All right, so it's not a super crawly truck. Well, there you have it, guys. You can tell the difference between the two Jeeps. The one with the front locker, no problem. The one without the front locker, problem. I mean, you know, you basically have three-wheel drive in the Mojave when you're rock crawling, but four-wheel drive in the Rubicon. And that matters when it gets tough like this. Hey guys, check it out. I have the front camera on this Mojave. It's also available on the Rubicon, although our Rubicon truck doesn't have it. Inside, the two trucks are almost identical. I am in the Rubicon and, well, the biggest difference really is that this one has red stitching and red accents, whereas that one has orange stitching and orange accents. No, the biggest difference is that I'm looking over a hood with two air intakes versus one central air intake in the Mojave. And the way you can really tell them apart, besides the fact that one says Rubicon and the other says Mojave, is the fact that this one has a big old badge that says trail rated, whereas that one has a big old badge that says desert rated. When I'm trying to social distance myself from Roman, this is a great place to be. Uh, one cosmetic touch is orange stitching everywhere, but the steering wheel is very unique on the Mojave. It's thicker, it's got these positions for your thumbs, so when you're going high speed, you know exactly where your steering wheel is. And also, there's higher bolsters on the seat, so it should keep you in place a little bit better. Welcome to the world's slowest drag race. This is a drag race to see which truck is actually slower. And by slower, I mean better crawl ratio because that's really what we're talking about. The slower it goes, the more control you have when rock crawling. So theoretically with different ratios, one of these should be slower than the other. So I'm gonna set up these cones at the end of the stretch. Andre, go. are you ready? Heck yeah. All right. I'm in the Rubicon, he's in the Mojave. Get the cone set up and let's do this. All right, Andre, a couple of rules. Yeah? No brake torquing. Nope. No jackrabbit starts. No, this is a whole different drag race. All right, and no cheating. Remember, you gotta put it into first and manual. What do you mean cheating? You have a better low range transfer case. You are cheating. And no bumper Jeeps. Oh, Okay, stop, Andre, stop. You don't need to scoot forward. Dad, scoot forward. All right, uh, one more. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow. Okay, so we have identical axles. We have identical tire sizes. We have identical uh, ratio in the axle, which is a 410. Identical transmission. And the way you calculate the crawl ratio is really three numbers are involved. Your first gear in the transmission, your axle ratio, which is a 410 in this case, for both of us, and of course, the low range transfer case. I have a 2.72 to one, he's got a four to one, and I just lost. I'm just, I'm like more than a truck length ahead. The Rubicon gets it by a truck length. I mean, this is so much slower. If you're gonna be rock crawling, you gotta go with the Ruby. We knew this was gonna happen, but the difference is drastic. All right, Andre, we've done two out of the three tests. Uh, the rock crawl test, the Rubicon one. Yeah. And of course, the slowest, world slowest drag race, the Rubicon one as well. So what am I gonna win? Well, I'm now, gonna win this final test. Now we're gonna do some high speed running, and this is where the desert rated <laughs> Gladiator should Wait, all right, let's go Let's go take some high-speed, muddy, wet terrain. What do you say? Heck yeah. How do we decide which one's better? Uh, it's my opinion only. All right, we'll talk. We'll make this one more subjective and less objective. Well, actually, it, it matters. The speed matters, right? Yeah. So the fastest truck wins. All right, so let's do the math really quickly. Both trucks start at just over $43,000, but in the Rubicon, you get a locker and a disconnectable sway bar for that. 
In the Mojave, you lose a locker and disgruntled sway bar, but you get better shocks, bigger steering wheel, different hood, more bolstered seats. Really, it depends on what you want. But the one thing that you don't get in the Mojave, which I think you should get, is right here. Come with me. Yep, you don't get the Hemi. And that is, I think, a big drawback to a desert runner because if this is really a Raptor competitor, what you want is a bigger, better, more powerful engine for faster high-speed running, not just the same old corporate Pentastar that you get in both of them. But I guess you can't have it all. So for this third test, we're going to time each other and see how quickly we can negotiate this stretch of trail. And Roman is going to honk three times, honk, 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 and I'm going to hit start. Let's see what happens. All right. Here we go. I'm going to honk three times and I'm going to go through this uh, high speed run as fast as I can. I started my timer, guys. Here we go. Oh, having trouble getting going. Now I'm going. Let's see what Roman can do in that Rubicon. Oh, yeah. Solid axles still aren't as good as independent front. <laughs> this water is grand. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop the timer right here at this route. Whoa! Last one! And there she goes! The winner winner chicken dinner is... I'm gonna say that was uh, like, um, I don't know, 10 seconds maybe? 18.65 seconds. 18.65. Okay. When you cross the route, I stop. So 18 seconds, huh? 18. All right, that's the time yeah. to beat, Andre. Yeah, that's right. And also, dude, uh, this is a quarter mile stretch. Yeah, it's pretty long. Okay. All right, go for it. Honestly, guys, it's really hard to make a solid axle truck like this be a really, really exceptional desert racer. All right, Andre's turn now. If he doesn't get shot, he should be faster in the desert runner. So uh, we shall see if that Mojave is indeed bulletproof. <laughs> here I go. All right, here he goes. Rock and roll. Timer's running. Jeep's coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel really great when I'm bottoming out. I just, there's no penalty whatsoever. It's like landing on a cloud. <laughs> oh. All right, I got so much water that it got on the roof and this channel in the rooftop is draining a little bit of water still. This is like a couple of minutes after the fact. That was amazing. All right, well, I'm gonna give that one to Andre. He was four seconds faster than me. Is it the Jeep or is it the driver? I think it's both. Hey Andre, both the trucks started at about 43. The Mojave is 60. Uh, this one was 55. So if it were your money, which one would you buy? Well, to be fair, you can get the Rubicon to $60,000 mark anyways, right? If it were your money, which one would you buy? Mojave! <laughs> I know it's not a trophy truck, but I don't care. Actually, the modulation of the speed was great. The uh, landing on those whoops was great. Mojave. I agree with you the second they put a Hemi under the hood. For now, I'm going to stick with the Rubicon. As always, this is Roman and Andre saying thanks for watching and thanks for having us get a little muddy and get out here and have some fun and enjoy this wonderful Colorado spring. See you guys next time. Ciao. Let's keep driving.